Thank you very much. Uh, it's an honor to be here. Uh, thanks a lot for having invited me. So the, the uh, presentation that I'm going to give is about uh, an old technique, a new, a new, a novel use for an old technique uh, for uh, uh, guide wires. So the, the, the sepal technique is, a, is, a, is an old technique uh, described for 3D in 2011. Also known, uh, also known as the floating wire technique. Uh, most of you know that name. And uh, uh, what, what, we, uh, what we have found is that despite this technique is, is useful for uh, placing st osteal stents, uh, we found that we can use this uh, same technique for uh, preventing the deep guide catheter uh, intuition when proximal stents uh, uh, are, are placed, and especially when, when we uh, need to, to retrieve the guide wires, when we need to pull the guide wires. So uh, as I mentioned you before, this, is, this, uh, this technique uh, was, uh, was intended for only a precise osteal uh, treatment uh, for precise stent uh, uh, deliver, delivery uh, of, of, uh, of, uh, stent, of the stent. As you can see here uh, in this uh, demonstration of a, of a uh, osteal lesion of the left main, uh, and this is in the, in the, in, in the other uh, graphic, you can see the intended use for this technique, which was only for a more precise placing of the stent. But as I, uh, this is the, the first uh, uh, description of this technique, which is called sepal wire technique. This technique, as I showed you before, I forgot to, to explain that to you, is to place a, a, an additional guide wire floating in the, in the aorta while the, the, the two guide wires are, uh, are in place in the coronary tree. So uh, the, the, this technique was uh, uh, described uh, in 2011. This is the, the first uh, uh, description of this technique. Um, and as was, as I mentioned before, was intended only for precise um, osteal positioning, uh, and this is the uh, uh, the result of of, of the uh, 2014 analysis uh, showing that this uh, technique is is uh, well is 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 a proper technique for osteal positioning for osteal lesions. However, uh, as I uh, we, we, we found that this technique is also very useful for retrieving uh, guide wires uh, which are uh, trapped uh, or jailed when we uh, put a stand as, as I depicted here in this uh, horrible graphic that I made. I'm, I'm very terrible at uh, drawing, you know, excuse me for that. But uh, the, the idea is, is that this, um, um, there are three guide wires, two, one, one which is trapped uh, our pinned between the uh, artery and the uh, uh, stent, and it's the, the jailed uh, guide wire. The other one is the, the main uh, vessel guide wire, and the other one is the, the sepal guide wire. So the idea is if you, it, it, it helps when you uh, pull uh, through the guide wire, even though we, were, we, we, we have taught in, in our residency that if you keep uh, uh, tension in the guide wire, you you manage to avoid to get the, the, the guide cutter sucked in in the in the uh, in the in the artery. However, there are sometimes uh, places where where this is not uh, so secure, and you end up going with the guide with the guide cutter going deep and damaging the stent and damaging the proximal part of the stent, or even dissecting the left main, or even going very deep inside uh, deep into the the uh, artery and causing damage. So uh, with this technique, we've, we, we have found that the, the, the uh, guide catheter prevents to be sucked in and is, 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 it's, it is uh, very well positioned in that way and it's very stable and avoids, avoids the, the catheter to get sucked in when we try to pull the, the jail guide wire in the side branch. So we recommend, we re we recommend a third guide wire uh, we recommend uh, along the way, we have found that the, doing it with, a, with a, a extra rail uh, guide wires is better. Uh, for example, the Grand Slam guide wire or the extra uh, support uh, guide wire uh, 
uh, because of, of the pulling force and the, cont the, co the uh, uh, contrary force that the uh, guide catheter placed on, on this uh, place. So it's better to, to have a, a, a better rail uh, 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 guide wire. So uh, uh, th there's, there's definitely a need for better control and safety when on jailing side branch guide wire, especially uh, uh, in the, in the uh, techniques that we're using today where the pot is a, is a, a, a required step today and uh, uh, which, which plays, uh, which pin harder the guide wire uh, to the vessel wall. And this is particularly true for calcific bifurcations where pulling force um, for, for angiling the guide wire might be excessive. So this is the case number one uh, that I'm going to show you. We have performed 34 cases by now uh, and we are planning to do a, a publication ongoing. And as you can see in the, in the uh, let me see, uh, show you again, in the second uh, larger, you can see that we are uh, pulled. The guide gets uh, uh, still there without uh, moving uh, inward. This is another example. As you can see, uh, the, the catheter tries to get sucked into the artery. However, the, the third uh, uh, floating wire avoids uh, this, uh, mm, this, uh, the catheter to go uh, uh, further into the artery. So this is the final um, result showing you that the uh, left main is, 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 uh, is with no damage and the other places of the artery is, is with no damage at all. So the, this, uh, for, from our experience, this uh, uh, technique has been shown to be uh, uh, safe. Uh, this is a case where we have a transient prolapse of the guide wire of the floating wire. Uh, let me show you again. As you can see, there's uh, there the, the 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 floating wire get uh, get got into the artery. However, these uh, these have no uh, complications. As you can see here in this final and the final result is 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 great. Um, this is another case, this is our fourth case done. And as you can see here is, we are now trying to pull and, and the, 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 the uh, guide gets uh, perfectly well seated there in the aorta. And there is no damage after all in the final place. This is another case. And as you can see again, we, we are pulling, uh, uh, pulling traction. And the third guide wire, as you can see here, uh, here the, the third guide wire is, is doing his job. Uh, this is another case. And this is the final uh, result, uh, excuse me. And this is the, uh, the uh, depiction uh, of a stem boost showing the stent, which is not, uh, which is uh, indemned and not touched by the uh, tip of the guide wire. This is a left main, a, a left main case that we have done. Uh, distal left main case, also perfectly done with this technique. And this is the final result showing you that the stent is perfectly placed with no distortion whatsoever. Um, this is the, the, uh, the final result and the stem boost of the technique showing that there is no interaction between the guide and the proximal part of the stent. This is the final case that, that, that I'm going to show you. This is a two bifurcation that I have done in one patient. This is the uh, Technique again in action. Uh, okay, the, uh, in this in this case we have uh, uh, we only have two wires. We learn along the way that it's better to have three wires. Uh, we did this case only with two wires, but the idea is to have three wires in order to avoid this. What happens? What what did just happen? Which is you lose the uh, the proper. Um, um, place for the guide into the, into the proximal part of, of the left main. So it's better to have another guide wire into it. This is the, the, uh, the, the circulation of the patients. And again, showing you that there is no uh, interaction. This is the final result, which is uh, show that there are, there are no complications with this technique. So the, as a conclusion, Sepal, technique uh, provides a safer and controlled way to on jail side branch uh, guide wires, easy to perform, cheap and reproducible, 
avoids, avoids uh, unintended, uncontrolled deep guide catheter intubation and, and, and its related complications, let's say dissection, longitudinal stent compression and distortions, uh, and a, a paper describing this particular novel use in bifurcanism under submission, and a registry is underway to prove that the use of cephalophony is, is safe. Thank you very much. Thank you.